Well, you may have concerns that the other parent is alienating your kids from you. You also have to be careful that you're not inadvertently participating in that alienation. So imagine your kid comes home uh, to your home and says, the other parent calls you with this and calls you with that. You have choices. If you respond with, I'm not of this, I'm not of that, they are, they are. You're only reinforcing what was said about you. Think about that for a minute. Alternately, child comes in, other parent says you're this and says you're that. You have choices. You can respond in kind and, you know, your behavior will legitimize what's being said of you. Or, or you can look at your child and say, I'm sorry that you have to hear stuff like that, sweetheart. Let's go make dinner. Think about that for a minute. What is the experience of yourself that you want to give your child? Forget what's being said about you. What is the experience you want to provide your child? And if you give the right experience, it kind of contradicts what's being said of you and you're not in inadvertently reinforcing those bad messages. In fact, you're giving your child a nice experience. So ignore, believe it or not, ignore what your child comes in with about, you know, from that other parent and let them just... Uh, Enjoy your company with with you being calm, cool, collected, and um, a pleasure to be with. All the best.